Moksa exclusive dimensional being Kyle with another exclusive. Today's video is going to be about Sun and Aquarius, Moon and Taurus. Now these are two fixed signs. Now we have fixed air, which is fixated in our own way of thinking and communicating and having our own uniqueness. And of course we got Taurus, which is basically fixed earth, working, um, working, being stable and finding home and security. Now these two individuals are uh, two different terms but of course they also are working towards a goal which is a visionary goal and being that we got uranus and um taurus there's going to be a whole lot of changes with um your, your financial money your home your security now i'm saying the weather and and all these things so of course this is work, working on building towards and making sure everything goes into your favor and of course we have to build on our dreams and our goals you now i'm saying so of course it's all about building making things make sense and being practical so of course i'm about to break down the energies for all zodiac signs for all 12 signs because of course when you check your 12 when you check your second house this is what you need to do to basically build on your career and when you act in your nature everything will fall right in your lap we got the sun square moon so this is basically learn how to um direct your actions into your intuition and you know this is the first quarter moon so this is time for you to work harder on your goals because when you work hard on your goals you start to get the flow we got sun conjunct saturn so basically this is actions light shine this is our actions are being sh lighted shined on our responsibilities you know what i'm saying so it's a good time to basically work on your responsibilities you know what i'm saying you may have all the fruits and labors in front of you but at the end of the day these things can be taken from you tomorrow so never get um never stop being humble Moon conjunct Mars. This is having emotional passion. So, of course, we're going to feel the need to basically get things done and basically strive towards our goals. Moon square Saturn. So, basically, it's learn how, this is learning how to feel. This is basically feeling uncomfortable, but learning how to basically deal with opposing energies and our own way of handling these things. We also got Moon conjunct Uranus. It's basically having emotional awakening. And this can be intensified, intensified. You know, give somebody emotional awakening because they keep fucking with you. Just because you, just because they think you pussy and you don't say much. Now I'm saying you just snap on them. Yeah, we in that kind of energy. Also, we got Mars square Jupiter. This is basically learning how to control your power. Now I'm saying because we have a lot of power, but of course, if we give our power away to somebody else, our power gets taken away and we get naked, vulnerable. We don't want that. Also, we got Jupiter square Uranus. It's basically learning how to um, express your uniqueness. Now I'm saying no matter what the circumstance situation is, express your uniqueness. Go through experiences and situations where you have to be your own unique individual. And these things will help you. Also, we got um, Jupiter sextile Chiron. So basically, it's an opportunity to basically share, ex share a spiritual healing during this time. So, of course, if you went through a spiritual path, you were successful. This is basically a time to basically connect with somebody that, to help someone. This way, they can try to start to see where they can find themselves and stuff. Or you can basically be a spiritual guru during this time and heal the, heal people. We also got um, you also got Saturn and sextile Chiron. So basically, this is dealing with self discipline and self structure. Opportunity to basically have self discipline. You had you need self discipline. You need to ground yourself during this times. We in the end times, but the, this is the beginning for the people that knows what's going on. This is the end for the people that's fucking naive and believe in everything outside them. Their structure is basically about to be taken from them, restricted. Also, we got um Saturn. We also got Sun Square Mars. So this is learning how to um express con control and utilize our pet possessions. But even though we may discover delays, we still have to keep pushing forward no matter what. We still gotta use our intense passion. Also, we got Sun conjunct Jupiter. So basically, this is having strong self optimism and having luck and looking at the bigger picture. So basically. This is actions being shined on it. So this is this is a sextile. This is a trine. This is a gift that we need to be be expressing our own unique gift during the sun. Also, we got sun square Uranus. This is basically learn how to express our unique endeavors. Now I'm saying it's as long as you do things in your own nature and follow your own route and not follow nobody else's route, everything will basically play right in his face, right in front of you. Fruits and labors will basically show right in front of his faces. Sun sextile Chiron. This is an opportunity to heal. And help others during this time. Now I'm saying whether it's, whether this is during through expressions or actions. Now I'm saying actions to speak loud in words. Also, we got Moon Square Jupiter. So it's learning how to emotionally think about consequences that we may take. You know what I'm saying 
maybe quick to leave leave home and shit, you know what I'm saying? But you, if you don't have a backup plan, how you just going to leave the house, you know what I'm saying? Where you going to live at? Where you going to sleep at? Where you going to wipe your ass at? Where you going to wipe your ass at? You know what I'm saying? You got to really think consequently. Also, this is basically thinking about not spending too much money and basically not having too much optimism or too much hope on basically having this external thing to play out into your reference. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to take a chill pill. Learn how to plan these things out smartly. Then you can make your move. Not doing things and not, and not looking at the bigger picture because you can exhaust yourself or you can exhaust your, exhaust your pockets lose your money also we got um mars we also got venus sextile neptune so there's the opportunity for emotional desire engagements now i'm saying get you a chick get you a pleasure get you some pussy it's one or the other we also got mars square saturn to so learn how to um strive through obstacles no matter who's in the way you strive through that obstacle don't give up we also got Jupiter conjunct Saturn. So this is long-term views <clears> on <throat> working on a goal and a plan. And of course, having a practical reality and a realistic nature of doing these things. And not just basically having too much um, too much insights. But of course, we need practicality. We need to make this thing come into density so we can enjoy the fruits of labors. We also got um, Saturn square Uranus. It's learning how to um, change through intense attraction and being our own independent warrior, our own independent um, savior. You can be a whole lot of um, shit going on, but as long as you're independent and strong, you're good. We also got Sun conjunct Pluto. So basically this is intense actions being directed in our, in our in front of us and basically allowing us to say, you know, this is the time to come out your comfort zone. Stop hiding behind a mask. And of course, Pluto is here to let you know that, of course, I'm destroying whatever image that you was jacking previously. Time to develop your new image during this time. We also got um. We also got um motherfucking moon trying Venus. So basically, this is the gift to be nurtured or nurture others during nurture others during this time. You know what I'm saying? So this is a gift to basically find comfort. You know what I'm saying you may may um just think positive this time. You know what I'm saying you may get a free meal or, or free beverage this time. Try to like have this set on your mind so these things can come to you naturally you know what i'm saying you don't have to worry about having to ever come out your pocket and pay for shit it should just come right at your door also we about to get into um taurus and your houses and how it's going to affect your zodiac sign sun and moon sign so when you got taurus in the first house now i'm saying you're going to be valuing your personal endeavors now i'm saying this is dealing with material this is dealing with um, personality and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? You may hate stagnation. You may hate laziness and, and slowness. But, of course, you got to understand and understand that these things take time. So, of course, as long as you're working on your goals and being stable and practical, everything will basically flow smoothly. But, of course, if you rush through things and not get along with certain circumstances and situations, these things won't play in your life. Now, every son, you're going to be expressing yourself by being seen on, on the other side by displaying, having um beautiful beautiful relationships um tremendous relationships and of course being in a relationship where you can basically relate to somebody perfectly you now i'm saying you may not fully display these things but of course you're going to be in that personal endeavor of expressing these things you know i'm saying if you got a moon in aries people are going to be expressing this nature towards you in some way while aries is going to be expressing it externally you're going to be receiving it internally Taurus in the second house, you're gonna be valuing your materialistic natures and your physical appearances. Know what I'm saying, so pretty much, don't let others try to be getting in your pies or your cupcakes. Know what I'm saying, let these things be for you once in a while. Don't let other motherfuckers say, "Oh, you gotta do this, do this for me, do this for me." Know what I'm saying, learn how to breeze and let motherfuckers stay in their place and put yourself first. This way, you won't have to have any um, guilt or worry about losing control over your material and your, and your games. You know I'm saying just learn how to live life and everything will basically be gravy. You know what I'm saying? Take power and control. Let you let motherfuckers know. And of course, Taurus, basically, this is basically you being an ex ex example of uh, receiving gifts, receiving nurturing, caring from caring or giving this to people, places and things. And if you're a moon, you're going to be receiving this during this time. You know what I'm saying? This is basically an example of what you're going to be doing, what, what to do and what not to do. Third house. When you got uh, Taurus in the third house, you're going to be valuing your environmental experiences, familiar faces, and familiar surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Try to lay off superficial approaches because this thing may basically take you away from your comfort zone. 
And of course, you're gonna be getting into a lot of endeavors and shit of like with money, you know what I'm saying? Businesses and careers, you know what I'm saying? If these things don't work, you may see yourself gambling or taking risks during the time when it comes to money, but you gotta get it how you live, no matter what the circumstance situation is. Gemini's, you're gonna be seeing, um, you're gonna be seeing the other side of this endeavors. You're gonna be expressing yourself to basically be keen on into like new environments, new mental mental um arousements and stuff these things is basically gonna turn you on you know what i'm saying into intellectual into connection you know what i'm saying communication these things is gonna basically drive towards your attention if you got a moon in gemini others are gonna be expressing themselves in a mental pursuit way of basically getting the endeavors and um satisfying natures when you got um tourists in the fourth house is basically dealing with value and inter internal emotions and um valuing private home and private privacy during the sound i'm saying now, of course, you may feel the need to basically work from home or strive for some way where you can be comfortable in your natures. But as long as you put in the work, being strong and practical, these things can come right at your front door. Now, for uh, cancers, is the opportunity to basically nurture people or care for people or be nurtured. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be expressing yourself by nurturing and caring for people during the sound. Try not to overexhaust yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because you may go to extremes of doing this. And of course, if you got a moon in cancer, you're going to be receiving others nurturing you. You know what I'm saying? Fifth, uh, Taurus in the fifth house is basically valuing your expressions during this time. You're going to be valuing your expressions. You know what I'm saying? Try not to let obstacles get in your way. And try not to let your ego get in the way. You know what I'm saying? Because this thing, these things can get shot down. Try to have self-respect for yourself and others. And everything can basically flow into your spectrum. Now, Leo, you're going to be learning how to um pretty much appreciate others and respect others in order to sign and bond with others. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be expressing yourself in a way of learning how to do these things. Now, Moon and Leos, people, places, and things going to be trying to learn how to do these things dealing with you. Now, when you got tourists in the sixth house, it's basically valuing your um, work, personal endeavors, duties, and routines. Try to um, have love and satisfaction where you succeed in your work and not having ways of trying to fix things all of the time or doubt yourself and shit everything will be good now virgos you got the gift to basically inspire and basically be in good presence with people even though you know venus falls here <clears throat> but if you're playing good seeds everything gonna work out in your favor and if you got a moon in virgo others gonna be expressing themselves trying to be committed with you now if you got a tourist in seventh house of value in relationships during this time Try not to um, be a hater. Try not to get into guilt or envy during this time and stuff. If things is not playing into your nature, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the equilibrium and having harmony and balance and peace. Now, if you got this in um, Libra, you're going to basically be going to divorce and misunderstanding issues during this time. If you're just playing bad seeds, you're playing good seeds, then uh, maybe you misunderstand, but you can work through this. Taurus in the eighth house, you're going to be valuing secrets and desires. Don't let, um, don't let this view blind you though you know what i'm saying things may come into your life through left through family or endeavors or people places and things learn how to work hard and basically strive hard and these things will continue to flourish in your life don't be lazy or get caught up in your in your ways now scorpios you're gonna be dealing with opposite energies basically dealing with possession shyness envy jealousy and things, these things of that nature now if you got a moon in scorpio people is going to be displaying the jealousy and envy towards you during this time in the opposite way now if you got tourists in the ninth house you're gonna be valuing your morals your experiences and your principles and your learning endeavors try not to put yourself in the circumstances situation of basically uh having too much possession and control you know what i'm saying you may overindulge don't overindulge during this time and shit and then basically can lead you to dalmatia now for uh sagittarius this is basically a miscon in, con this is in conjunction you know what i'm saying you're gonna basically be trying to learn how to not indulge or basically get into adultery, trying to trying to marry too many people, problems and shit. You know what I'm saying you may be very cool, optimistic. Try to like ease off a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Try not to put yourself in a circumstance situation of being in other people's shoes and shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause you may be taking a bullet that ain't aimed for you. Sit your ass down. Sagittarius sons, I love y'all. Of course, if you got a moon in Sagittarius, other people, places, things may be trying to get into your um into your business and shit to your, and things you value or try to value you during this time you got um tourists in the 10th house you're basically gonna be reacting responding to your valuing your um status and your career and your goals you know what i'm saying if you're dealing with a whole lot of guilt and um mi mistakes and worries and 
pretty much playing in positions of um of having lack of the desire and passion. You need to focus on getting rest and clearing your mind. Know what I'm saying, you got if you get rest and clear your mind, everything will basically start to clear clarify itself in your, in your way, and everything will be more easier for you to basically achieve and, and get to get towards to. Now, if you got this in um Capricorn, this is basically a gift. This is a gift to be passionate, loyal, be be loving and caring for people, places, and things that you love. Know what I'm saying a good opportunity to make friends or hone in on friends, you're going to be expressing yourself in these endeavors, and of course, Moon and Capricorns, you're going to be receiving other people, places, and things coming your way, friendships, goals, tries, and gifts, and all kind of shit going to be displaying themselves in your way. Now, when you got, um, motherfucking Taurus and 11th house, you're going to be valuing your, um, association and associates during this time, you know what I'm saying? Try to be very stable as possible, because Taurus and 11th house, you know, Taurus, and uh, you know, eleventh house falls in Taurus. You know what I'm saying so. Your actions and your um uniqueness and things of that nature, your discipline will actually be full. You know and I'm saying you, you just may be possessed during this time, with a whole lot of endeavors and shit, a whole lot of people, places, and things may be possessed by money issues and things of that nature. Try to be very stable during this time. You know what I'm saying try not to um put yourself in circumstances, and situations of um losing yourself. You know what I'm saying. Check yourself before you wreck yourself type shit. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to be stable. Try not to take too much risks. Because taking risks ain't your thing. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it ain't, it ain't a Capricorn thing. Shouldn't be a motherfucking Eleven House thing. Try to um, focus on on focus on being very disciplined on the sound. Because you know, this is a learning process for you too. Now for Curious Sons, you're going to be learning how to um, deal with not being possessed. Deal with... Um, Uncommon relationships and love during the time. I'm saying you may be put, you may be put in the shoes of indulging in too many things, or learning how to find yourself, or getting in relationships, or valuing people, places, and things that's not stable. Know what I'm saying you may be, you may be just, maybe having your um, your hands in every motherfucking um Thanksgiving pot and dinner during the time. Try to like be calm, cool, and collected, cause that ain't true. You're very unique and you're very distant. You know what I'm saying? So be very unique and um, try not to be too distant because you know this is the age of Aquarius. And of course, it's Aquarius season, of course. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is like a learning process for you. You know, Aquarius falls in Taurus. So that means like your actions and everything is basically sleep. You know what I'm saying? you you under hypnosis. So try to get your power and your strength and energy back and everything will be good. Now, Moon and Aquarius, you're going to be attracting other people, places, and things that's displaying energies of uncommon love or craziness or endeavors and things of that nature. Try to be very, um, they're going to be learning how to, um, get their way into, towards you doing this song. So try not to get caught up into that. And last but not least, when you got the, um, when you got tourists in the 12th house, you're going to be valuing your dreams. You're going to be reacting and responding to value, valuing your dreams, your illusions, your fantasies. And your beliefs now pretty much when you got this here try not to um try not to get just try not to get yourself lost try not to lose things try not to be all over the place because you know this is a, um it's an opportunity too you know what i'm saying it's like basically earth and this is uh water so of course you may be a whole a lot of endeavors you know what i'm saying maybe all over the place during this time you know what i'm saying so try not to do this. You may lose yourself. You may lose your per your passion, your purpose, your gift. Try not to do this shit. Focus on putting more time and effort into being stable. And uh, of course, clarity, clairvoyance, whatever you got to do. Meditate, you know what I'm saying? Get right with yourself. Keep a chart. Keep a list where you can be organized so you ain't all over the place. And everything will basically be gravy like grapes. And of course, when you got this here, try not to um put yourself into other shit or getting lost into other people places and things and deficits but you may lose yourself but when you got this here for for pisces this is a you're gonna have the opportunity to basically be passionate be romantic be uh helpful and of course you're gonna also have the opportunity to basically have the ability to be around like my think um like-minded people people that think the same or think bigger and shit. You're going to be around these people. Or try. Or you're going to want to try to be around these people. This is where you're going to be displaying. You got a moon 
in Pisces, you're going to be attracting other people, places, and things, expressing themselves, trying to be committed into relationships or be connected with you during the time and shit. So, yeah, these are the energies that um, you're going to be dealing with when you got the um, Taurus in your houses and your, and your zodiac sign. So, of course, when you got Taurus, it's all about stability, working hard, being practical, and being consistent. You know what I'm saying? Consistency is key. You know what I'm saying? Get to work. No more playing around. You know what I'm saying? It's the first go to the moon. Let's all manifest. 